when America tells us to jump, we don't question. We simply ask, how high? Am I not too old for this? When it comes to survival, there is no too old. Nigerian US based filmmaker and music video director Oluyin Car Davids was our guest on the show. He speaks on his new project, one of which is Perception, which aims at telling the Nigerian story abroad. Oluyin Car Davids, who has shot over 2,000 music videos, tells the creative process which makes him switch to filmmaking. I do music videos and also films. Filmmaking was really my thing, but while I was, I was waiting for opportunities to do films, I got more opportunities to do music videos. So I started doing it and I got into it so much that people think I only do music videos. Sometimes I'm having to tell people, I don't just do music videos, I do films. You know, but filmmaking is really like what I really wanted and I'm doing right now. In a world where perceptions are often shaped by headlines and where the truth is obscured by stereotypes, a powerful story is about to unfold. Everyone can apply for a particular job except Nigerians. Nigerians are fraudsters, Nigerians are scammers. Once people know you're Nigerian, there's this hostility. We're about to board the plane. Someone ran up to me again and said, please, I have to search you. And I say, you don't have any drug. I'm like, drugs? Bankers will not employ Nigerians because they think they're too smart and that they're corrupt. An executive of a bank see that and they mention your country's name as a fraud ring. I heard them whisper, those are fraudsters. They come here and they take all our jobs. They're just overdoing stuff. Don't associate yourself with Nigerians. So they're always haughty, arrogant. They tell me that they don't deal with Nigerians. Nigerians are bad. I'm working on a project right now. Um, it's titled Perception, the Nigerian Narrative. So basically what it's about is how the world sees Nigerians. You know how you go somewhere and you're having a conversation with someone. Most Nigerians in, in diaspora will relate better to this. You know, you're having a very nice conversation until they ask you, where are you from? And you said, I'm Nigerian. They go, okay. You know, like immediately they are careful what they say to you and what they expose to you because of our, you know, negative reputation. So I decided to do a documentary about it, you know, and then we already shot in the U.S. We shot in like seven cities across the United States, interviewing, you know, notable Nigerians, non-Nigerians to know their view about us and all that. So in order for us to have like a balanced view of that subject matter, I decided to come to Nigeria and you know, you know, speak to some notable Nigerians, you know, that has um, some sort of impact, you know, as regards the subject matter. The world sees us through a fragmented lens, but our narrative is a mosaic of diverse perspectives. Nigerians have made tremendous contributions to the medical field, both in Nigeria and in diaspora, and here in particular in the United States. The intensity of training that we had in Nigeria equipped us such that you were, you knew the stuff. It wasn't that you didn't know it. It was just a matter of using technology to enhance what you already knew. Brace yourselves to witness the untold story, to explore the depths of Nigeria's perception. When you don't take that CIA, you permit the world. Over 200 million people are just too much for a single narrative to define them. I've made a couple of films. Like I said, my most recent um, project is the, the documentary that I'm currently working on. We actually released a teaser on October 1st because it's about how the world sees Nigerians. And of course, October 1st is our independent day, so I thought it was a good time for us to tease people about what we are working on. And trust me, the feedback was amazing. It actually, it actually blew my mind. So I'm, I'm actually believing God that in 2024, we'll fully release the um, docu-series and everybody is going to be able to watch. The world sees us through a fragmented lens, but our narrative is a mosaic of diverse perspectives. Nigerians have made tremendous contributions to the medical field, both in Nigeria and in diaspora, and here in particular in the United States. The intensity of training that we had in Nigeria equipped us such that you were, you knew the stuff. It wasn't that you didn't know it, it was just a matter of 
using technology to enhance what you already knew. Brace yourselves to witness the untold story to explore the depths of Nigeria's perception. When you don't take that CIA, you permit the world. Over 200 million people are just too much for a single narrative to define them. And not until Nigeria arises to take its rightful place, the continent in itself will always be subjugated by other nations. Are you that Nigerian that closes the door on other Nigerians to come in? For any action you take, it might not directly affect you, but it will affect those who are coming behind you. You can't judge a book by its cover. Perception, the Nigerian narrative, where truth transcends headlines.